oops, made a mistake. I said that we were going to make an accordion fold folio earlier today. That is not the project for Sunday. We're going to make a folio style master reference journal, which is a container of sorts for all of our projects that we're going to do that are just paper craft essentials for junk journals, scrapbooking. You could even use some of these in cards if you like. But for some reason, I was thinking that we were making accordion style, and we did that already back on January 18th, 2022. I'll leave you a link in the cards and the screen and screen and notes and whatever. So the tool list is still the same. You can pause and screenshot this tool and material list and pick up whatever you don't have. Everything that I listed a price for, I went to the dollar store last night, the black and yellow dollar store. Nobody's paying me, so I'm not naming any names, but you can go to any dollar store or Walmart or wherever your favorite place is to pick up this sort of thing. You'll need scissors, and the one I saw at the black and yellow dollar store was $2.50. You'll need a craft knife. It was a dollar, and I found it in the automotive section or the tools and hardware section where you would find sandpaper and spray paint and that kind of thing. So, cost you a buck. Glue, I picked up a bottle, just a regular um, off-brand bottle of white PVA glue for 75 cents, believe it or not. You'll also need a ruler. Um, depends on whether you want to spend the money on a metal ruler or right now or not. But a plastic dollar store ruler will do, and you can pick them up for a dollar. But it's not gonna. Uh, you're not gonna be happy with it for very long. It's up to you. This is for this list is for people who actually have to go out and buy stuff because it's their first time ever paper crafting. If you are an experienced paper crafter, then you probably have all these things already. And then, of course, you're going to need paper and book pages, as I told you earlier, are a really good source of background things to collage on top of or build on top of. And you can pick up hardcover books at Goodwill stores for 50 cents, I think. One book is going to last you quite a while. Now, I'm making my cover out of a file folder, but you, if you don't have a hanging file folder that you care to tear up, then chipboard for sure. Um, and you'll have to make your book in parts. I will show you how to do that, or you can go back to January 18th and look at how we constructed the accordion fold. There's other book constructions in my DIY playlist if you want to go poke around about a year ago. Um, collage materials are optional. If you feel like collaging the outside of your book, you could also just print out digital paper. You could use uh, the classified ads or newspaper or phone book pages, if you can even find a phone book anymore. Just something that's a little bit larger piece of paper that will be using for the outside of your cover. And then you might need a hair band or a hair tie or some jute or some yarn or some string to make a closure if you want one. You don't have to, or you can add it later. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry for the mistake, and I will see you on Sunday. God bless. Take care. See you real soon.